Well, thanks for joining us. First at 6 tonight, the U.S. Department of Labor confirming an active investigation is underway involving the owner of Memphis food truck chain Taco and Ghana's, as well as the new Uncle Goyo's restaurant in Germantown. The investigation is looking into whether owner Greg Diaz violated any laws under the Fair Labor Standards Act, though the feds have not said exactly which law or laws Diaz and Taco and Ghana's may have broken. However, we do know laws involving minimum wage, paid overtime, child labor, and record keeping all fall under the department's umbrella. On social media, in recent weeks, Diaz has been under fire for his posts, asking for workers in Mexico, offering around $665 per week to work 72 hours a week. That's about $9.23 per hour. If found to be in violation, Taco and Ghana's would have to pay unpaid wages to any employees affected. Our Stefan Reels joins us with what customers and activists are now saying about this investigation. Stefan. Well, Richard, some customers see this as just another controversy, but others say this is a time to stand up to help potential victims. Employers should be on the lookout. That the media is watching, activists are watching, people are watching. While allegations surround Taco and Ghana's, activists have been making their presence known, calling for people to boycott the food truck business and helping connect alleged victims with the help they may need. It's important for people to know that when they have questions, they should talk to an attorney. Mauricio Calvo is the CEO of Latino Memphis, an organization which works to help vulnerable members of the Latino community connect with resources like confidential legal services. Taking advantage of employers is something that happens every day. You know, so, so I would say that today, more than facing discrimination, these type of employees probably face some kind of abuse or, you know, of, of mistreatment or underpaid or not paid. That seems to be more, more of the common thing. Calvo says victims are often scared to come forward or speak up, fearing the potential consequences of facing law enforcement, when in fact, they actually have some protection. Employers who do this type of thing prey on people who are new to the country or who are very vulnerable, who don't identify themselves as victims of these things because they don't know they have rights despite their immigration status. And it's important for people to know that when you're a victim, uh, you actually gain rights. If you cooperate with authorities, authorities are not going to come after a victim. They are actually going to support a victim. Calvo adds, allegations play an important role in encouraging victims in other situations to speak up and get the right support. It's important that, that these things come up and people look at and look, and if nobody's doing anything wrong, they're not doing anything wrong, right? But if they are, like, they should, feel the, they should face the consequences. Now, the Department of Labor says the investigation is still ongoing. We reached out for a comment from Taco and Ghana's owner Greg Diaz on the investigation, but have yet to hear anything back at this time.